Everything was normal for John Ford and his family on the morning of April 1st, except for what he found in his yard. Peeps. I was just having coffee this morning, looked out my window, saw a bunch of yellow and purple looking things in the yard. So I went outside to have a better look and sure enough, there were a bunch of peeps everywhere and I've never seen anything like it. On Friday, January 30th, a semi-truck full of eggs overturned, backing up traffic on Route 30 for eight hours. Rich and County EMA Director Mike Bailey said that the peeps are growing because of the egg spill. This normally doesn't happen very often, but when it does, we take it very seriously. I mean, they can be very, very dangerous. This week will mark the 60th day of the gestation period of these, so we're looking at this very seriously. As far as the overall cleanup, we usually go to the scene. They can get very messy very, very quickly, and without the proper cleanup procedures in place, you know, there's various agencies to take care of these. But if we don't have anything, we usually end up doing it ourselves, which we'd rather not do. The marshmallows share a strand of protein, synthetic protein, called albumin epinephrine with genetically modified chickens, also known as GMCs. In 1994, a batch of GMCs were fed peeps. Now genetically modified eggs carry the synthetic protein found in peeps, making spontaneous pea hatchery rare but possible. You have to act fast. Although they're touted as indestructible, believe it or not, they're often exploited and misused by consumers. Some of the things done to peeps are absolutely incredible. They're, they're maimed by children, uh, their sugar sprinkles are, are scraped off, and sometimes they're even put into microwaves. I don't understand it. It's just plain sad. Every once in a while, we'll get an egg spill like this. When you have big egg tankers that overturn, and you mix that with the GMC egg protein with road salt, and oil, and phosphorus, well, you have the chance of spontaneous peep hatchery. And if the peep hatchery is not exterminated, well, the peeps could mature and turn into toxic marshmallow hazards. If we catch them before the maturation process begins, usually around the three-month stage, then we can preserve them. Peeps have been around since the 1950s. They're all American relics. We have to give them a voice. That's what we're here to do. The PPA acted fast and were able to recover 28 of the 50 sprouted peeps.